Hey guys, I hope you're having a good day. Right now we are in Yosemite, about to take the shuttle right behind us down the valley. We'll see how that goes and where that takes us, so let's get it going. But first, if you've never been to Yosemite Valley View, here is the parking lot and where people go to get those famous photos that you see is right over there. You guys can see behind them is the famous backdrop. So the shuttle that we'll be getting onto is located right next to the village store which we'll check out first and to the left of the store is a bike rental stand. So full day is $40, half day is $30 and if you want a trailer $75 for a full day. Let's go see what's inside the village store. There's firewood for camping. A ton of Yosemite merchandise is available. If you forgot to bring cash, there is an ATM. That is pretty convenient. Something that I find super cool about the village store is that there is fresh produce. You pretty much have everything you need here. And there are aisles and aisles of just tons of different things available. Let's go check them out. Looks like we've got ice cream. They have different types of canned foods. So many, so many. And there is pizza, along with a ton of other microwavable foods. And we can't forget the chips. If you guys forgot your medicine at home, they have that as well. Pretty awesome. They have a ton of uh, fresh meats. They've got beer. Whoa. Along with beer, you also can't forget the wine. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Let's put that back down there. This is the bad stuff. The village store has so many things that I don't expect to see in the mountains, which is a really, really good thing. And they do have a patio area back here. That is Yosemite Falls in the distance. Perfect, sunny, bright day. Hardly any clouds. Super cool, not hot. And we are in front of Degnan's Deli, our uh, next destination. Nice fireplace. Along with a lounge area to hang out and get some work done. Let's head to the kitchen. Something cool that they have are these faucets to fill up your water bottle. They are serving their breakfast menu right now. Eggs, hash browns, sausages. They've also got a bakery in here along with a coffee menu up over there. But right now we are gonna get a pastry. Okay. 
The shuttle that we'll be getting onto is at the village parking area. Shuttle stop number one, right to our left side. You can get on at any stop that you want, but number one just sounds fun for this video. There are two shuttles. The purple one will just take you to the east side of the valley floor, whereas the green one will take you all the way to the west side and back. So it's a lot longer on that ride. Here is the beautiful cinnamon roll that we got from Degnan's. Mm. What is yummier than a cinnamon roll? Yummy, yummy panoramic views. Yum, 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 yum. Green route is here. Benefit to the Yosemite Valley Shuttle is that you just find a parking spot and you just take the shuttle all around the valley without having to worry about finding parking. We made it to our uh, destination, which is uh, the Awani Hotel. This is valet parking. And then you get the red carpet experience walking down to the hotel. But at the front of the entrance is a bear alert sign. They're very active around here. And welcome to the Iwani Hotel. The Iwani bar is currently closed. It does look pretty nice to lounge in there. Very rustic vibes. And they do have these lounge chairs to sit down and relax. This is free to use. Just walk right in, find a spot and sit down and enjoy. Very cool. Wow. Wow. Gorgeous. What a view from the back of the Awani Hotel. They have a giant lawn right in the foreground and in the background. Holy cow. I want to show you guys something really cool behind the Awani Hotel. Is the Merced River. Perfect spot to go swimming and go river rafting as well. Let's head on to our next destination. Wow. Everyone's getting off to the next stop, which is Lower Yosemite Fall. At this stop, we have a Half Dome in the distance, but the really good view, I personally think, is on the left, which is Yosemite Falls, lower and upper. Last time I was here, there was a bunch of snow this was in March. Now you can see it has all melted into this luscious flowing water surrounded by greenery. the view of Yosemite Falls lower. The 
bridge is right down there. To the right, you got the benches if you want to take a break. On the left, that's where you have the spot that everyone wants to go to to take their pictures, as you guys can see, either right here or right over there on the rocks to get that amazing, fantastic view. Down that way is the second entrance to this hiking path towards Yosemite Falls that's very crowded, but it has the best views right down there. You can see the top and the bottom, and you can see why so many people take this trail. So there's a brown bear in the distance, right down there. Let's head back down to the shuttle stop to head to our next destination in Yosemite Valley. <laughs> and there he goes. Wow. Okay, since we missed the bus, let's do a quick hike to a bridge that I find very, very good for summertime swimming. The views towards the bridge right along the way aren't too shabby either. You can already tell people have started their summer fun time river rafting. God, it is gorgeous weather with gorgeous water. It's perfect today. The view going back to the shuttle is just absolutely gorgeous. You can see top left there's an airplane flying right over Yosemite Falls. No to self, if the shuttle takes a while it might be faster on foot and on the left they're doing a valley floor tour. No canopy, just the fresh open air. And then to our right is Yosemite Valley Lodge. Yosemite Valley Lodge has a pool in the back, along with a bike stand, and uh, if you're lucky enough, you see little dogs barking at one another. Next to the base camp eatery is also a gift shop down there. And nice areas to lounge about. And to also take a nap if you like. When the weather is perfect, it's bound to happen. Oh, it looks like they opened up the uh, wall to Base Camp Eatery. Seating is cafeteria style, pretty much. Just some fries because I have uh, something later that I want to show you guys. Fries were pretty good, fresh and crunchy. If you have an electric car, there are charging stations here, so no need to worry about running out of juice. Here is the style of the lodges here that you can expect to be staying in. What's cool about these lodges 
is that there's a bike path in the back right along the river and it is somewhere down that way. Here you have it, a river that is right behind the lodges. Renting a bike or bringing your own bike to Yosemite Valley is a great idea because you guys see all that red? It's pretty much everywhere you can bike, which is pretty much a full circle in Yosemite Valley. It is jam-packed in here, holy moly. Super jam-packed. Super packed. We finally made it to our next destination, which is Curry Village. And here we are with the deck to the left. First, let's check out the mountain shop. See what they have inside. You guys see those hanging off the top ceiling? That's what mountain climbers use to climb mountains and go to bed. They've also got camping gear, tents, chairs and lots and lots of rope and the other store nearby is the grocery entrance slash gift shop something I find super interesting though is that they have a vending machine right over here just in case you've missed the store and it closed you can get some emergency stuff let's check out the grocery shop oh look at that. there's ice definitely a grocery store lots of produce and alcohol on the right then of course chiprinos okay my conclusion with the Yosemite stores here in the valley is pretty much they have everything you would ever need to survive and more. You'll be good for months. Well, maybe like a week. <laughs> the pizza deck is officially open and it's always, always packed. Must be good. Never had it. The line is super long. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to be getting in that. Let's go and... Uh, explore a little bit more and something that's really interesting I find is this building that doesn't have a name this is seven tenths very inconspicuous no name in the front of the building so you don't even know that this exists inside this building is also a bar Let's get in. So they sell a pizza by the slice, cheese, pepperoni. Everything else is a full size pizza. Thank you. Looks like a good spot right here. Oh yeah, this is a half dome, pretty much a meat lover's pizza with pepperoni, ham bits, sausage bits, bacon bits sprinkled all around, and jalapeno pepper. Let's take a bite, shall we? Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Yes, that is good. Fresh, 
crunchy and melty melty cheese right out of the oven here it is so if you guys are planning to do some raft rentals you can find it here at Camp Curry $3.30.50 per person tells you the hours something you guys can also do is bring your own raft park the car at the end of your destination where you plan to get off and then take the shuttle with your rafts in hand take it to the top where you guys plan to put it in the water and there you go full day of fun Camp Curry is known for their tent style campground still very primitive <laughs> Still pretty primitive, no plumbing. Let's take a quick walk through this tent alley. It just looks so nice. Huh, you look closely, they have uh, bear boxes. Boom and boom, right in front. Welcome to the front row view of the shuttle bus. Nice. <laughs> what the? <laughs> there he goes. Moving in. Back where we started, Yosemite Village Parking. Our last stop of the day. The last shuttle of the day. Good stuff. With a good view. I've got one more spot to show you guys by car. Welcome to the uh, El Capitan viewing area, I guess that's what you would call it. I really, really like this spot because it's so green and it's so foresty, so open and it's peaceful because there's not a lot of people that stop by here and if they do, usually they're just stopped on the side of the road you guys can see pulling out their binoculars and trying to find climbers on the side of El Capitan and those people will climb way into the night you can sometimes see their headlamps shining in the pitch darkness I hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure using the Valley Shuttle Bus to get us all around Yosemite itself well, the valley that is let me know, what was your favorite part of this trip? Mine was seeing a brown cub. Never seen one before in real life, and that was super, super cool. Yeah, until then, I'll see you guys on the next adventure, wherever that is. Bye!